What's up guys, F Focus, and we back on some Escape from Tarkov. Now this time, it's going to be all about the patch. Obviously I'm late, uh, but I've done a bunch of research. I've even looked into it. Uh, basically, we're just going to talk about everything that they've showed in their video, as well as what they put on their preliminary patch notes. And then uh, obviously that's going to be subject to change, because every time they release something in the patch notes, and or release a video of any kind, it's actually only partial of what's actually put into the new patch so we'll see i'm sure it's going to be great but let's jump into it all right let's start off with the most notable change coming to tarkov this is the mag drill skill uh this is obviously going to change so much into the game um and just try and say mag drill skill five times fast mag drill skill 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 hey that wasn't too bad but uh basically it's going to change the pace of the game um loading ammo into mags is no longer instantaneous <clears throat> when you're in a raid, it's obviously still going to be instant when you're in the menus, um, in your stash and stuff. Um, but it does take time, and the time is based off of the mag drill skill. 60s will take longer than 30s, obviously. Um, and timely loading is only uh, for, like I said, in-game. Um, empty mags or full mags are already checked in-game. Um, and if you check a mag by default in the raid, it is going to be by clicking Alt-T. That's been how it was for a while, but it was a useless uh, feature into the game until now it's actually going to serve purpose um, and if you're in the menus uh, or your inventory rather you can just right click and then click uh, check uh, mags that you bring into the raid are already checked until you fire off around then they become um, unknown with a little question mark out of 30 or 60 depending on whatever you're using um, and only one mag can be loaded or unloaded into an inventory at one time. And the inventory screen must be open. If you close the inventory, it'll cancel the action. And or if you change over to a different tab, it will cancel the action like the health tab. Um, if your mag drill skill is level zero, it will only give you um, numbers like um, empty, half, or full. Um, whenever you check it, whether that be the checking or whether that be... Um, in game with alt t now if it's level one um it'll give you an approximate so about 20 about 25 or about 10 um, and if your mag drill skill is level two it'll give an exact amount like 23 or 26 11 stuff like that um, and if you drop your mag and pick it up when it's already checked it's still going to be checked but if you drop it and someone else picks it up and then you kill them or your buddy drops it again because they're testing stuff it's uh, going to become unchecked and you must check it again um, so now that we've all talked about this, kind of what it's going to change, obviously, you know, it's going to be different times whenever you load into the game. I think it's going to completely change the meta of the game. Um, I think that at the start, uh, people are going to be bringing in like six or seven mags, uh, obviously filled and putting some in their rig and some in their backpack so they can fire them off in an empty mag or a close to empty mag. They can just throw into their bag and then put a new one in its place. Um, because obviously those, uh, early raids, start of the raid engagements are going to be the most crazy. So I think people are going to be bringing in a shitload of mags, uh, and I just think it's going to make also more people camp, as a noob might call it. Um, I call it strategy because I love to sit there and wait for people. I think it's very fun. I think it's very realistic. Um, and obviously the real world is not going to run around and jump like a madman. So I, I cannot wait for this feature to come. Uh, I'm looking forward to this feature. It's definitely going to change the pace of the game, and I'm excited for it. All right, now they've also added some new items or new mods and everything to the game. Um, the new items they added, they've actually added a couple new guns. Um, the Springfield Armory M1A, it's going to be fucking fantastic. It's another hard-hitting 7.62 round. I'm not going to go into detail on the gun, the history on it or whatever because I got fucking hammered for that. Um, they're going to be adding the Remington Model 870. It looks like to be a 12-gauge shotgun. And I'm assuming both these weapons are going to be sold by Peacekeeper since they're American. But I don't know that for sure. We're just going to take a guess. Um, and also what I noticed in the video is a difference in the shotgun power. Um, it looks like it's fucking... It looks insane. Um, the video makes it look like it's in, really, really strong and it's going to be changed. But I, I don't know because everybody that was killed isn't wearing any armor. So I don't know if that's actually going to be true. I can't wait to try that out. Um, there's obviously going to be a, a larger Saiga mag and a larger AS Val mag. I think the Saiga mag is going to be a 10 rounder. It may not be, but I'm assuming it'd be a 10 rounder since those actually exist. And then the AS Val mag or VSS mag is going to be 30 rounds, which is crazy because that gun is a, is a truck. It hits people like crazy. 
Um, there's a ton of more mods for the AK variants, uh, AKS, and everything like that. They've added in the ability to modify uh, the MP5. Finally, that's uh, in the game because it's retarded that it wasn't. A new pistol. I don't know. It was in Russian. I can't. I don't know if that's the actual title of it. But there is a new pistol that looked like it went full auto. Um, and then there's a huge scope that was uh, showed on that was shown on the M4 at the end, which is it's fucking massive. It looks like it's going to be a biggest scope in the game, but I don't like I said I don't know that they haven't really released any information on it. And it says NF on it, which is one of my favorite artists, so that's cool. I'll be using it. Um, they're obviously going to be doing a new map interchange. I'm hoping that it's going to be more optimized. Uh, since it's not as big as Shoreline, because when Shoreline was first released with the new uh, expansion of it, it, it ran like ass. So I'm hoping that's changed. Um, there's a new tack vest with armor plates. Um, and then they've obviously changed some of the quests. Kier's first quest, I'm assuming they probably took out the four armor, since that one was kind of shitty for new players that couldn't ever excel on, on Skier. Uh, but they've changed that, and they've also changed uh, the quests in general. So completing certain quests unlocks certain items to be bartered, uh, which is cool. I'm, I'm glad they've done that. They've also changed the different barter system for dog tags, which is it's about time. Um, and then the black version of the Fast MT helmet, which is going to be amazing. And, of course, they've obviously said, like they say in every single preliminary patch, um, they're going to give more info on the mods and gear or armor or guns or whatever else is released or going to be released in the patch so we're going to sit here and look forward to that um but what i have noticed that inside the the little video they they showed it's it looks like a different helmet a new helmet because it's not the kiver it looks like maybe a dumbed down version like a like a 3m helmet or something i don't know i can't wait to see that in game but a big thing they've obviously changed bug fixes and stuff like that uh they've they've added or made some small changes there's i'm not going to go through all the changes of bugs fixes that they've they've uh, fixed but i do want to say that they've added a couple things first off bitcoins can be put in money cases i don't know why the fuck they could be put in money cases before but they can be put in money cases now and then the other thing i want to say is the face area or the modular hit zones so before face shots were not a thing if you shot somebody in the face through their armor or fast mt it just counted as a headshot as if they had a helmet piece there that's no longer the case. There are there are face shots. So if somebody has a kiver on, you can essentially one tap them uh, with a pistol uh, or a shotgun shot if you have a buckshot, and one of those pellets hits them in the head, it will kill them. Um, so that is going to be absolutely game changing. I know that there's some other stuff. I'm not going to go over it. I'm just going to put a link down in the in the description for the patch notes. Uh, you guys can look at it yourself. Um, the last thing I want to say is they're making the game unrealistic. They've added every weapon base uh, recoil. They've increased it by 20%. Um, I know they have to put balance in the game. I just wish they didn't put balance in the game like this because it just doesn't really make any sense for me. But that's whatever. I, I obviously I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not one of the creators of the game. But it's just kind of depressing and sad that they have to do stuff like this. But it's whatever. You know what I mean? It uh, it doesn't make a difference. I'm still gonna play the game. So that's all the changes and stuff. Like I said, you can go over your own uh, the bug fixes and everything like that, and go over all the the changes fully uh, in your to yourself with uh, the link in the description preliminary patches. I can't talk. I don't know why I'm making this video when I can't talk. I actually have typed out a, a script that I've been going off of, but I just can't even talk. I'm reading the script verbatim. I can't even talk because someone told me to put a script on. So that's what I'm doing. And yes, I did write put a script on. All right, so before we wrap up this video, I just want to say um, every time I upload a different video, whether that be Siege or I don't think I upload a Fortnite video, um, but, you know, I upload some other videos and stuff like that. Like they, they get like no views. I know some people say, hey, I'm going to watch because I like you, um, but I, I just want people to enjoy the content. So if it's not getting as many views as a Tarkov video, obviously people aren't enjoying the content. So I'm going to try and stick to mainly Tarkov. Um, here lately i don't know i'm going to be probably putting out videos in between but i'm not going to let that hinder my tarkov uploading because i know that's the main reason why you guys watch my channel so i don't want to upload some shit that's not enjoyable if that makes sense so we're going to kind of push aside and mainly just focus on tarkov um, i'm going to do more tips and tricks videos for you guys because i get that request all the time hey please do another tips video do another this video um with the new uh patch coming out the weapons are going to feel more balanced um the movement's going to feel more balanced everything like that's going to feel more balanced i guess because i want it to be fair 
But there is, there is going to be weight to the game. They did say that they're going to add uh, better weight. So like whenever you turn, look left and right with a gun in your hand, depending on what weapons in your hand is going to depend on the speed of it, um, the velocity of it, and the total ergonomics of it. So that's going to be cool. They're actually adding more realism to it. And you can't just run around with a huge ass AK and a pistol. And all, not they won't move the same like in the patch now, but you will turn and kind of have the same ergonomics almost. So I'm glad they're actually putting some variant in there. But I will do some tips videos uh, for you guys. I don't want to upload a tips video now because a lot of the stuff is going to be irrelevant when the new patch comes out. So when the new patch does come out, I will do a tips video. Obviously, I'm rambling. This last part's not on script. Uh, so you guys are probably like, Jesus Christ, we just shut the hell up. Yeah, I will shut up. Uh, that's just that's the future of everything. I know I keep you know saying that, but that is what's going to happen. So I do appreciate all you loyal fans out there. Streaming will continue, but not as much as I was doing. It's going to be maybe once or twice a week. If that probably just once a week and I will do sub Saturday, but it won't be as crazy and hectic as it has been in the past. We won't just play with, you know, a bunch of people, you know, back to back doing over and over and the teams will be limited, but I don't want to play with fans or subs until um, I kind of get a, a heavy foot, a solid foot, um, on the new patch, I don't want to just run out there with pistols and die every time and then let you guys down. You know, obviously that's not fun to watch and stream, but I do want to do another like, hey, day one, day two type of thing. Um, so you guys can see my progress, how I'm faring on the game. Uh, but that's about it. I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. This is patch 0 0.8. This is the preliminary patch notes and a little video that they've added. I thank you guys for your time. I know I've rambled. You guys have heard my voice long enough. Hit that like button, subscribe, share if you want to. And as always, enjoy. I do this for my father, move I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. I do this for my mother, who's finally clean, no longer a fan. I do this for you. I do this for my sister, my wife and my kids, because they part of the team. I do this for you. All the